The Dick Curl ladies were without doubt the most successful team of all time. They lifted the spirits of many, many people in the Northwest and throughout the world, really. A terrifying team in their day. They had a, an unbeaten run of over 320 games. They played us in Everton's Grand Goodison Park in front of 53,000. They used to get massive attendances and if it wasn't for them, football would probably wouldn't be where it was today. In the lead up to the First World War and during the First World War, the men were away fighting. Women worked in munitions factories. Almost every factory across the country had a ladies football team. And so women used to play football and provide matches for the local population to watch. 1921, that year they played 67 games of football throughout the country while working full time at the factory. And on the 5th of December 1921, the FA banned them. <laughs> It's crazy to think that that's what they used to get and yet it's had a massive drop off because they were then not allowed to play football. The FA said that it was a dangerous game for women and it could affect their fertility. Reproductive organs that are at risk of sport are men. I think it is absolutely essential that we don't forget the past. No other country in the world has this history. We always aspire to get back to those attendances that they managed to get. These women deserve their place in history. <laughs>